Vivian, 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 you will never ever change. My lovely people, welcome to another critical review of the worst woman ever. Like Vivian, she just finished marrying, right? This is a wedding evening after the wedding. It is normal, it is proper that after wedding, the bride and the group get tired. But there's this culture that they have, this ritual that she must do to her husband people, like the elders of the land that came for that wedding and the ritual is that vivian must be the one to serve those elders in the house before they go back to the village now they're begging vivian they are begging vivian they say vivian Bikonu, vivian please come and serve these elders let them eat and go vivian say if she can never ever do it she will never ever do like a woman that don't even have respect for her husband at least Ben came initially. Ben was saying it. It's as if Ben was joking, you know. Uh, but Ben on is understandable. He's a brother-in-law. But that's how we say your husband can't come. Can't come can't they beg you. She insists that she will never, ever, ever serve those elders. That in fact, the elders ate in the reception. What are they doing in her house? That is the question she was asking her husband. And that she need explanation. What is the elders doing in house and my people these elders they are talking about too are the elders that is the kindred of the husband the kindred of the husband she didn't know that you cannot marry a man and say you are marrying that man alone you will marry the man and his family you cannot come into a family like you expect to have peace what you think is only you and your husband even the mother-in-law which is mama had to come to beg vivian and say please this is the culture and she knows it too it's not as if she don't know it. Vivian knows that this is the culture and tradition of this land. That you must be the one to serve the elders. She knew, she knew very well. But she re still refused. She still in insisted that she will not serve Mama, uh, serve the elders. So when she still insists that then and Mama beg, 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 she said she no go feed back. Mama had to leave so that she would go and use her hand and serve the elders. Even the husband had to start begging her again. She now said that, in fact, all their elders, they are, all of them are stupid, that they are foolish, that they are useless to think that she will come and serve them. I'm telling you guys, this is just happening only after what you know. She never even sleep one day for the house. You see, this is how some ladies behave. Like, they wait for after wedding to show you who they really are. Some ladies can be kind, very good during the time of courtship. They are so angelic. But when they get married to them, they turn tiger. That is why it is better you marry somebody. Let the person show you who they are. If you can cope with it, fine. But you see, the pretenders, they do the worst. Because Mama was very angry. Mama was even willing to join Vivian and help and serve the elders. Like, they, she wanted it to be a joint something. Let them just help her. But Vivian refused. So Mama had to run to the elders. You know, she went to meet the elders to know what they have to say about that like, please vivian if i didn't even tell the elders that vivian said she will not do she told the elders that please so what are we going to do about this thing that vivian is so tired like she dance 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 always they pay them and so she just need to rest if i let them serve her but the elders refuse that it is their culture and tradition that vivian must be the one to serve them that even if vivian is tired according to what mama said and eh, vivian was suspending her vivian is tired that no problem oh. Even if Vivian is tired, that Vivian should at least come down. Even if it's Helen that will carry the food. Eh? Let Helen carry the food or let Mama carry the food. But Vivian must be beside the person carrying the food. Let the person just helping her to carry that food. But even after telling the elders, uh, after the elders tell Mama this thing, Mama had to run up. At least the elders had made it easier for her. Okay, you are tired, we understand. Just come and stand beside someone you know let the person serve us now the thing is that it's not as if vivian is not aware of this culture and tradition you know when you want to go and marry every every village have their own cultures and traditions when it comes to marriage you understand so vivian would who knew that the culture and tradition is that she must be the one to feed the husband like to give him yeah uh, to feed the kindred like the husband uh, uh um, each is okay, kindred. Yes, that she know that she was with done to this. So I don't know why she's reluctant. Even when Mama had to go and meet her in the room again, and Mama was begging and said, Vivian, be cool. No, don't disgrace me. This thing will come with repercussion, please. She said they should do their worst. That she have already made it clear that 
that she's not standing up she's not leaving this room for anyone for anybody like this is one of the hardest thing for someone to do somebody could just make decision like this you just close up your mind make that decision and just stand by it it's not good like that and at this point the husband had to react like why are you talking to my elders like this do you recognize that you're talking to my elders and she was like to hell with you and your elders your elders are very foolish she started insulting the elders again in the presence of the husband like this is the height of it this is the height of it like it's, it's, it's very obvious that vivian came into this family to steal to kill and to destroy she did not come come into this family with any good motive it is very very obvious because the husband was very shocked like vivian was what, what, what's up with you what happened to you why are you behaving like this? is there anybody offending the in, in the reception even while the husband was saying that she was like oga what are you doing what are you even standing here watching like a moron i beg god remove those things that you are wearing and come and lie down with me in the bed this is our wedding night like hmm. in fact they, they they this handwriting is very is boldly written this is indeed the worst wife ever do you know when you get married and you start for the very very first day to start solving problem is a, is a problem because even when vivian uh, mother-in-law had to go back to the elders to tell them and maybe the elders saw her the elders knew that okay she's not coming vivian, uh, vivian mother-in-law was like yes and they said she be she know what that thing means that if they leave here without eating that food that what will happen is that they wash their hands off their son and also vivian will not be recognized and they, as a wife and you know one thing about marriage is that i will never advise any young lady to go into a marriage that you are not accepted it is not possible you understand even Helen, all of them were begging Helen, even leader was begging they held herself they left they left that they are not interested they don't want they just left in anger so that is where the problem is even starting now this is the startup of the problem now vivian thinks she's she's firm she's bold she has taken her decision she has done what she's supposed to do as a wife you understand she wants to claim the house and everyone in it but she didn't know that this is a downfall of her marriage as a married woman as a married woman it's not as if the elders were much it's only three people that you would have come and serve so that you have your peace of mind you refuse to serve them you refuse to allow somebody to help you is it not a problem this is indeed the worst wife ever like i never see this kind before i never but let me know what you guys think in the comment section you understand i did she didn't know the rules and regulation uh, the regulations or the traditions of her husband people i would have said okay maybe she did not know they didn't tell. but this one she's fully aware so it is very obvious that whatever she's doing she's doing it on purpose she loves what she's doing she's enjoying every bit of it that is what she loves let me know what you guys think in the comment section concerning this particular action of this uh vivian in this worst woman ever I would love to know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so much guys for watching.